New information was just released today for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Walking Wake, the paradox version of Suicune, is now released in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. It's a water dragon type with an insane move called Hydro Steam. It's an 80 base power, 100% accurate water move that is boosted by 50% in harsh sunlight instead of being weakened. And Iron Leaves is a new grass psychic paradox form of Verizion. Its new move is Psyblade, which is an 80 base power, 100% accurate physical psychic move that is boosted by 50% in electric terrain. These paradox Pokemon are available now in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Raids. New DLC was also announced today, called the Hidden Treasure of Area Zero, which will be divided into two parts. The Teal Mask with a planned release of Fall 2023, and the Indigo Disc with a planned release of Winter 2023. They also revealed the Mask Legendary Pokemon Ogre Pond and Terrapagos, which looks to be the Crystal Disc Pokemon. They even revealed other new Pokemon and returning Pokemon. So let's dive in. We have so much stuff to talk about today for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We got a ton of news things out today and I'll have timestamps down below if there's a specific thing you want to hear about now first thing um, I mean this is probably the second most exciting thing for me today and I say second because there's something down below that you guys can see that I'm hype about but we have a paradox version of Suicune now we knew about paradox Suicune because of the fact that the book in game showed it and we knew it was going to come eventually it's called Walking Wake. I love the way it looks personally, kind of like a, a Dracovish vibe for me. And it is Water Dragon. Speaking of Dracovish, now, Suicune, as you guys know or may not know, is my favorite Pokemon ever. So to see it become Water Dragon, my two favorite types, they're literally tied for one and one. There's no one and two. There's they're both my two favorite types. It is so sick. It has protosynthesis. Now, protosynthesis might be something that you might not like for it just because oh well it's a water type and protosynthesis are moves boosted by the sun right well normally but this thing learns hydro steam and, and also flamethrower we'll talk about its moveset in a second it learns hydro steam 80 base power 100 accuracy and it is boosted by 50 percent. so it's 120 base power without stab in the sun so it's not its own scald right scald isn't in the game um currently right i, I think nobody can learn scald in the game uh, but this Pokemon has Hydro Steam, which is a move not weakened by sunlight. So it can actually take advantage of that Protosynthesis boost um, if you're using it with like Coridon. Or of course, if you end up using Booster Energy, obviously that works too. But that is such a sick thing for Water Dragons. You can see there it also has Flamethrower. We'll talk about its move set in a minute. But um, Walking Wake resembles a sketch made by a member of the Area Zero Expedition in the Scarlet Book. It bears a uniquely shaped set of horns on its forehead. It also supports its weight with its just hind legs and walks bipedal. Now, uh, it's a bipedal Pokemon, and you might be thinking, well, how could they make Suicune good, right? I mean, you got to remember, guys, these are these are these are what they are, right? These are these are paradox Pokemon. If they can make Delibird a demon, they can make Suicune even better. And let me tell you something, they did. So. Protosynthesis, obviously, its ability. Let's look at stats super quickly. Base 109 speed, which I believe that's Durant. So, base 109 speed and base 125 special attack. So, at max, that is 383. At neutral max, that is 349. So, it is incredibly fast as a Pokemon. Uh, just to give you an idea of the OU ladder and what speed tier that outspeeds, right? That is basically faster than Garchomp and below. Uh, only Dragapult, Cinderace, Miascarada, um, Greninja, uh, Iron Moth, and Roaring Moon currently outspeed that in OU. So it has a fantastic speed tier, and it has a really, really good move pull too. And the fact that you can use a water type on a Sun Team and have it not ruin your stab move is really, really nice. Like the only way they could have made that move better is if they made it burn as well like Scald. But maybe that would have been a little bit too much. It's already getting a boost in the sun. Now, uh, I love its stats. Um, it doesn't have the best attack at base 83, but its defense is okay at base 91. Special defense 83. You, it's really weird seeing a Suicune that's not bulky, right? And of course, they gave it less than that base one 100 uh, HP, so it can't have the 101 substitutes. But if we look at what it can... First off, Specs is going to be incredible on this Pokemon, right? Specs, Life Orb, Booster Energy, all that stuff is going to be incredible on this Pokemon. So let's go through its move pool really quickly. Um, so the big things that stand out, obviously, is Hydro Steam. It learns Flamethrower. So it's a it's a water type that if Ferrothorn came back, Ferrothorn would be cooked. But also something like Corviknight doesn't uh, switch in. Celesteela when those things come. Not that they were taking Hydro Steams anyway in the sun. 
But obviously, Flamethrower is a pretty big one too. Also learned Hydro Pump. I don't think anybody will be using Hydro Pump too much. I think Hydro Steam and Flamethrower, we have to go look through its move pool. This is my first time looking through its move pool besides the generic one that we see right here. So Flamethrower and Hydro Steam, amazing already on Choice Specs and Choice Scarf variants. Um, and then going through the TMs that learned shots, Seribet.net. Uh, we see Dragon Dance. Maybe it'll be useful for boosting its speed, though it could use uh, a booster energy if it wants to with like what it would have to do is because it's 349 versus 348 you would just have to run like two less evs or like eight less evs or something so that way it can boost your special uh, speed instead of your special attack but we saw that it has dragon in so if it wants it could use that we also see right here um draco meteor and obviously draco meteor is amazing on a choice specs mon right so you have draco meteor you have hydro um steam and you have flamethrower on your choice sets it also learns hurricane but if you're using it in the sun hurricane has an accuracy drop in the sun i wouldn't necessarily uh use that if i were you but hey it could be a demon it could be a damn demon and of course you have terror blast as well if you need secondary coverage which that coverage right there doesn't need very more cover uh very much else coverage except for a pokemon like tapu fini for instance so when that comes you can run terra poison if you want if that eventually does come back but incredible incredible obviously you can run uh hydro pump plus hydro steam if you want just the extra oomph because terra blast could be anything really you don't even need really need terra blast on this pokemon but like i said when on top of Fini comes it's great so dragon fire and water is incredible coverage absolutely incredible coverage which can hit most for neutral or super effective damage so love this pokemon i'm very excited that we now have an offensive version of suicune that's not calm mind rest talk that's not sub calm mind that's not annoying in this and it's my favorite pokemon by rick and i don't use it a lot on the channel because it's very annoying to fight and it can be very frustrating to watch too as your opponent struggles for me though i, I freaking love it but has an incredible move pool a uh, great offensive potential and man is it gonna be nice like I can't see, I don't see anything that actually boosts its special attack, which I think is honestly fine. Um, it probably doesn't need anything to boost its special attack. It's just so very strong, but I'm so excited for uh, Walking Wake. This is obviously available in Pokemon Scarlet. Pokemon Scarlet stay winning, but uh, obviously on Pokemon Showdown, none of that matters. I have no idea when it will be available on Pokemon Showdown, though. Maybe it's available right as we speak. No. And of course, for Pokemon Violet players, Iron Leaves was the next Pokemon revealed. Oh, by the way, I think that Suicune's going to be fantastic in OU. Uh, I think it's going to be absolutely fantastic in OU. Those Specs Dracos, uh, I would compare it to like Curum in a sense, where it's going to have like damn near no switchings. Obviously, Pecs can take moves. Um, you could run Terra Dragon just to boost your Draco Meteor. You could run Terra Water. I'm sure Specs, Terra Water, Hydro, um, Hydro Steam in the Sun is going to be doing a lot of damage. So like Terra Dragon, Terra Water. I think you can Terra type to your own type for sure and be crazy. And of course, you could also go Terra Fairy. Uh, that way you can live like Dragapults, Draco Meteors, and Dragon Darts and then knock it out with Terra Blast. So those are, I think, all options that that Pokemon can run. Now, Iron Leaves is the Paradox future form of Virizion. I honestly think this does Virizion a lot of justice from a design standpoint. Uh, Virizion's all right. But I love the armor. I think armor just looks so cool on it, right? Like, I, if I had to go in terms of cool, how the how the how the Mons look, it's like Cobalion probably looks the coolest next to Terrakion, and then Keldeo when it has the the Sacred Sword version, a uh, Secret Sword version of it, and then Virizion is probably last in my opinion. That's my personal opinion. Maybe maybe Virizion over Keldeo, but I think this pushes Virizion a lot up in terms of just none of that crap matters. <laughs> just just what uh, I, this is what I like about it. But Iron Leaves, oh I love I love how it looks when it's attacked too. Like this is so sick. Iron Leaves resembles a sketch made by a member, yeah. It has a smooth, glossy body that has intact texture and parallel with glowing parts on his forehead and neck sometimes transform to look like long swords, which I think is really cool when using close combat or sacred sword. So, we know about this mon as well, and it has uh, a really, really, really nice uh, signature move. And, I mean, hopefully Gallade gets this too. <laughs> Not, uh, but it doesn't actually need it. But, um, basically, it's an 80 base power, physical... Uh, psychic move 100 accuracy that's boosted by 1.5 times in electric uh, in electric terrain so that's 120 base power without stab as you can see there also learn swords dance leaf blade mega horn etc so very very nice move uh boosted by electric terrain i think it's pretty cool too obviously it also has uh, they have the wrong ability right here it does not have hadron engine oh my god if it was maridon holy crap no 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 it has court drive um, so let's look immediately at stats first off so base 104 speed it's actually slower than Verizion. um 
with really good special defense and defense. And I want to compare that to Verizion super quickly. Verizion. Uh, because if you look at Verizion stats, base 108 versus the... Um, base 108 versus base 108 special defense. 70 special attack, 90 special attack. So it's less special attack. 72 special defense, but they buffed its defense by 88, which is really, really big. 130 attack versus obviously the crappy 90. And then the same... Um, HP. So while it might have lost speed and special attack, it gained, and I think this is a really big benefit for Verizion. It sucks that it's not specifically on Verizion. It's on the Pokemon that has some of the worst resistances in the game. Uh, Grass Psychic does not have, I mean, <laughs> U-Turn, one of the most used moves in the game. Not to say that uh, like a Pokemon four times weak to something is bad, right? But when you're four times weak to a move that people aren't even trying to use for damage, but just momentum, it says something. However, Terra is always there and its speed tier makes a big difference. So I'm not going to write it off I mean, its stats are amazing, right? Its stats are great. Um, but very, very strong, obviously. And I like that it's bulky. And obviously, you can Terra to get rid of that. So let's look at its immediate move pool first. So we see Swords Dance there. We already knew it had Swords Dance. Obviously, you have Side Blade, Close Combat. So Swords Dance, Close Combat, Side Blade, probably going to be Standard. And then Leaf Blade is what we're more than likely going to see. We see Solar Blade, which is very interesting, very funny, except I think that it has um, a move that benefits from Sun when it's a uh, Quark Drive Pokemon. So I think that's just a little... I don't know if that's humor or not, but it, it also has Night Slash, obviously, for Golden Go as well, which is pretty interesting um, to look at. And then we see Ash Scissor, which is whatever. Um, Wild Charge is cool. Something like Corviknight, though, Close Combat will do a ton regardless, because Wild Charge is unfortunately extremely weak. It's it's stronger. It, it's stronger than Close Combat, because Close Combat isn't Stab, but I could definitely see myself tearing into a Fighting type and just having Stab on Close Combat. And of course, Terra Blast, like everything else knows. So, um, really cool. I think that it's strong. I think that it uh, very much benefits from Terra, whether it be Terra Fairy, Terra Steel, uh, Terra Fighting. I think you're going to go a more offensive Terra on this, but also obviously it's going to benefit you defensively because glass, pl uh, glass. <laughs> Grass plus Psychic is not the greatest defensive at all. Like obviously you're able to resist water, which is pretty big. Um, but you, <laughs> you have so many weaknesses in ground, but you have so many weaknesses that are common. And the big one is just being weak to U-turn, whereas you don't have a stab that actually hits something like Corviknight offensively. Um, but Swords Dance variants, I think would be really nice. The speed tier is good as well. And, uh, still fastening Chomp and everything under there. A uh, weak to every mon that's above it that U-turns or Dark Pulses. Uh, but... Still, with Terra, I think it's I think it's going to be severely underrated with a Terra type because base 90 HP, but mainly base 88 and 108 special defense is really, really... Do you learn Synthesis? No. Could have spelled it wrong there, but I didn't see Synthesis there. But obviously, uh, I think a standard set would be Close Combat, Side Blade, and Leaf Blade. And maybe you'll see some variants of Night Slash on there for Golden Go, or you just say, screw it and give up on Golden Go, hitting Golden Go, uh, and you just bait it with something else, right? But I like it. I love his design, and I'm excited to see the future of this Pokemon. So now we go on to the DLC. So the DLC is called The Hidden uh, Treasure of Area Zero. It'll have parts one and part two. So the uh, the Teal Mask is part one, and this actually has uh, quite a few new Pokemon as well that were revealed besides this. So this is the legendary Pokemon right here, Ogre Pond. Um, I'm thinking... Grass Dark is the immediate thing that comes to mind, but I could be completely wrong. I would love to not have another Grass Dark Pokemon. Zarude is enough for me. Um, we have, like, I, I, I don't know. I just thought uh, it's it's fine, right? It's going to depend on speed or anything. I can't really say much about that. I'm sure I'll have another video coming soon once leaks tell us everything about the Pokemon. And I feel like Grass Dark doesn't make sense because we just got Wochen, and we also obviously have Cacturn, and Shift Tree, and uh, what's the other... Pokemon that I'm forgetting. Let me Google it real quick. Grass Dark Pokemon. No, gra uh, Cacturn, Shift Tree, Wochan, and um, yeah, Zarude. So I don't know. Maybe it could be Grass Dark. I'm kind of hoping no grass for it as a typing. Uh, but it has, if you actually look at its picture itself, and we'll scroll down quite a bit, and we'll talk about obviously the new Pokemon right there. Um, these are other new Pokemon that we're seeing. Uh, as well but i'll go right here and just dump this image of it but as you can see i mean grass kind of looks like it'll be right it has leaves coming out of it so maybe grass dark maybe pure grass um not the strongest typing uh but decent again decent uh, just another four times week that i'm okay without uh and then we have the other one right here on the right 
which is Terrapagos. And this is probably the Pokemon that created Terra, right? Like, I feel like that's some lore that we could make a guess on. Um, mainly because the dude has the freaking typings on its back, for one. Um, and it has it's a shape of a hexagon, which is the same shape of all the terrestrialization like things, like the little design has like a little face like that. So this could just be the creator of Terra. Um, it also makes sense that it's coming in part two of the, the, the DLC. So I'm very excited to see how the DLC ends up coming out obviously uh, and what the story would it ends up adding because apparently it's not going to be in Paldia but it's going to be in discover the secrets uh, continue your Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Mansion um, it's going to be a different real just so we have the, the teal mask step out of the Paldia region to take a cool trip to the land of Kitakami there you'll meet new people in Pokemon while unraveling the mysteries behind the area's folk tales so I mean I, I love the outfits that you wear as well and then the indigo disc is more like high-tech future obviously you know you're going past and and future type of thing so the story continues as you become an exchange student and visit blueberry academy most of the unusual school is located under the ocean and the curriculum emphasizes pokemon battling you could not pay me to have a school under the ocean this ain't freaking atlantis i don't got gills like that's insane i've seen too many jaws and sci-fi movies you're insane bro you mean i can't go out and breathe air outside under the ocean I mean, maybe if it was like 30 feet and I could swim up real quickly if I go at the top because it's already on. No, you insane. But we also have new Pokemon revealed. Monkey Dory. <laughs> I, love, I love the name. Okie dokie. <laughs> Fazan. Dippity. Um, some people are saying uh, poison flying, um, dark typing, grass typing. Things like that. There's not a lot that I can really mention about them besides based on the design. Okie dokie. Uh, looks really cool. I like the feathers as well. The monkey door is kind of like, <laughs> you're a Pokemon? But I guess anything could be a Pokemon. Uh, it's just it's just the design. It's kind of funny to me. But I mean, that's, that's just my personal opinion when it comes to it. What do you guys think about it? It's a trio of Pokemon who protect the land in the past. So I don't know if they're going to be mythical. I don't know if they're going to be legendaries or like the subset legendaries. Like the legendary trio, like, you know, Mesper, Dazelf. Etc. You know, all of them, right? The birds go on and on, but they could be that. So they, they might have actually really, really strong stats, even though Okie Dogie is the only one that kind of looks strong. And then after that, we got the reveal of um, new Pokemon returning. So about uh, 230 new Pokemon or old Pokemon will be returning in Scarlet and Violet. And I'm very excited. I love that they showed um, some specific ones that are very important for VGC. And then they showed some whatever they wanted, right? So on the left side, uh, which I'm assuming is Scarlet, you have Nine Tails, which is obviously Drought. We get another Drought user besides Torkoal. My Lodic is pretty big for VGC. Uh, Vikavolt, nice little lower tier PU Mons right there next to Shift Street. Yeah, and Chimeco and Yen Mega. I mean, I love Yen Mega, but why? <laughs> uh, and I mean, I'm fine with Pokemon coming back. 230 Pokemon coming back. Um, obviously, could mean the baby forms plus the evolved forms. That's pretty, pretty cool. And then on the right side, you have Whimsicott, which is very important in VGC. Same thing with Metagross over the years has been very important in VGC as well as all creamy. So lower tier fairies. I feel like we don't have a lot of fairies in the lower tiers right now. So I'm very excited about that. Um, I know that we a leak of Pokemon that are coming back did... Um, a list of Pokemon that are coming back did leak, excuse me. So I'll probably do a stream or a video on the returning Pokemon, maybe a stream. I think that would be a little bit more fun so we could discuss with people. So stay tuned for that. I don't know if I'm doing that tonight. Uh, we'll see. But a lot of new Pokemon coming back, good. Um, I feel like with Scarlet and Violet specifically, we've had a ton of bans. And um, so it, it, for some people, it's stale and a little bit too stable as well. So obviously, you can pick up the DLC. You get the new... Uh, the new um the new way you look but this is another one if you purchase the hidden treasure of area zero you'll be able to get hisuian zorak that knows an unusual move in your pokemon scarlet violet game make sure you purchase by tuesday october 31st 2023 i believe that means that hisuian zorak is now legal in pokemon scarlet and violet now that's only if you purchase it right so obviously um it's gonna have an unusual move so i want to see if uh, Cerebi put anything out. I don't see Zoroark at all yet. Ah, it comes at level 50. Happy hour. Oh, it's a happy hour that it gets. Okay. But, Hisuian Zoroark is now in the game. 
Um, so we literally have an Asuian type that is now in the game, which I'm very excited about. It is happy hours. Who the hell cares? They're not those Z moves. What? <laughs> Give me a signature move that's sick, man. Give me Ice Beam or something. <laughs> I'm not, that's not that sick, but Nasty Blob, Bitter Malice, etc. So Asuian Zark is now available in the game. So right now we have three new Pokemon currently available in the game. We have Walking Waves, we have Iron Leaves, and we have Asuian Zark now available. So I'm very excited um, that we can now use them. Like I'm, I'm, I'm super excited that we can now use them in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And then the last thing that has me extremely excited is that we can now change the timer to 60 minutes for Wi-Fi battles. I've been begging and pleading for years, and you cannot. Today was a great day, man. My favorite Pokemon got a new form, and it's my favorite two types. And I can now do a 60 minute timer, man. I, this is, this is so insane. Um, so this is going to be like in friendly competition. So obviously you can't just do it in regular Wi-Fi battles or link play, but you got to set it in a friendly competition. But this is a freaking, this is a plus. This is a win for singles, a win for draft league. Um, no longer have to worry about 20 minute time. For those that got this far and don't, then we're like, oh man, 20 minutes is enough. It's not, man. It's not. You can barely play. You can play offensive games for 66, but draft league where you want to prep, you really want to win. You really got to think about what you do. 60 minutes is what we need. Um, at least I don't I'm not saying every game will go down to 60 minutes it won't but just to have the ability to think without having to worry about timing out and you know this is such a big win for the draft league community I might I might start playing draft again I I have my discord open on the side and I have five different DMs from people that I know specifically play draft league most likely asking me to join their leagues and who knows maybe I will uh, I'll definitely be playing Draft League. I don't know when I'll start, but I'll definitely be playing Draft League once. I don't know if this is available right now, but this is in German. Um, shout out to Dr. Slacking for uh, making me aware of this. I'm, I'm, I'm so freaking hype about it, man. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm like I'm less hype right now because I was more hype when I found out. But man, it's, it's sick. But uh, yeah, guys, that's basically all I have. What do you guys think about everything? Obviously, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wise, I'm excited. I'll probably be using Suicune. Uh, later today or today as well. We'll see. But thank you everybody for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. That's it. Peace.